Hello, today we're going to be talking about describing distributions and we're going to be describing a histogram. Okay, this is a very important subject because it's the start of when you're going to have to write in sentences describing a graph that you see or describing data. Okay, so it's a good thing to start with this problem is our five W's. Okay, so the who, what, when, where, Let's see how. Okay, we'll do the important ones. Okay, so who? Okay, who are we? Let's do this. Who, what? When, where, and how? The two most important ones are these two right here for now. Okay, so who? Who are we describing? We're, the who here is our black cherry trees, 31 black cherry trees. And what are we describing about these cherry trees? Okay, that's our who. And what are we we're describing the height? That's our what? When? We don't know. Where? We're not sure. How did they find these trees? We don't know. Okay, but the, con the context most of the time comes from these two. Okay, and these are helpful, but these are the big the two right here. Okay, so now that we have the context, an acronym that we could use to help us describe distributions is what's called SOX. So it's S O C S. Okay, and the first one is describe the shape in context. Are there any possible outliers? Okay, and the next will be the center. In the center, we have an option, which will be an average or the median. And the spread, which is the variability in our distribution, how spread out are our data, that's either going to be our standard deviation or it's going to be our IQR. Okay, we always use these two when our distributions are symmetric. Symmetric and no outliers. So when, when we do these four, center spread, we'll be that, that. Now the mean and the, or, I'm sorry, the median and the IQR can be basically used for any distribution. You could always use these two if you want, but generally we only use these for skewed data. So next chapter when we're comparing distributions, if you have one skewed and one symmetric, you'd go ahead and use the median because you don't want to compare the median to the x-bar because if you have skewed data, okay, they're not, they're, uh, the median is a better representation of the center than the than the X bar. The X bar could be either skewed higher or skewed lower. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with this describing this distribution and we'll start out with the shape. Now make sure you write this in context. It's very important in context. So make sure you know your who and your what because that has to be in the first sentence. Okay, the distribution. The distribution of the, what did we measure? The heights. The distribution of the heights of, okay, what did we measure the heights of? Black cherry trees. Distribution of the heights of the 31 black cherry trees. Are okay, so take a look at this. If you looked at the shapes of the distribution, the other one you should have a good idea of what this shape is, okay? And this would be roughly symmetric. Now, you want to use these words roughly, approximately. Uh, we want to use those words in statistics, okay? And we could throw in unimodal. Okay, so that's that. Now take a quick look. I don't see any outliers. Hopefully you don't either, or any major ones at least. And a good way to say this is there doesn't appear, there doesn't appear to be any outliers. 
Okay, now center. The center is going to depend on our shape. Okay, so since our shape is symmetric, we want to use the x bar and the standard deviation. So the average, the average height of the 31 black cherry trees, that's how you write it in context, is, and I'm going to say about here, now let's take a look. Okay, so when, when when it's symmetric, it's generally this area somewhere here in the in the middle there. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and choose 76. But anywhere here would be fine. It's about 76, and make sure you put your units. Don't forget your units. It's feet. Put a comma there, and. The standard deviation, now we go back and look at the standard deviation, look at that definition. It's the typical distance away from the mean. So when you're talking about these, the typical distance away from the mean, we did a mean of 76, so our mean somewhere right about here. What's typical? Okay, and then measure how far that is away. What is typical? Is 60 typical? No, 60 is way too far away. That's not typical, that's unusual. Is 90 typical? No, it's not. Too far away. Okay, so I'm taking this, I'm just saying, okay, so maybe somewhere around here, maybe somewhere here, okay? This is pretty typical. Anything in here is typical. So we want to go to this thing, which this, this uh, length right here, and measure it. Okay, so I'm going from 76 over to about 83, okay, which is about 7 feet. Okay. And that's it. That's all there's to it. Describe these four things. Make sure you have a good idea what the context is because these have to be written in context. And you're done. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.